to maintain transaction items, both stock items and service items. Click on the shortcut icon of item or go to stock, stock item maintenance. Stock item listing grid will be displayed. Click on create a new stock item. Item code. You may key in the item code or scan the barcode of this item or click on the plus sign to auto generate item code according to the format set at tools, options, stock, general stock setting, automatic generation of item code format. Group. Select the stock group which is maintained at stock, stock group maintenance for the purpose of report, filtering and posting to GL account. Item type. Select the stock item type for the purpose of report filtering. The stock item type is maintained at stock, stock item type maintenance. Description. Key in stock item description. The second row is called Description 2. You may key in the alternate name of this item or the name in other language. Active means this item is active and still in transaction. Discontinue means no more new purchases of this item. This item will not appear for selection PO and request quotation. However, it is still allowed for purchase return. Purchase invoice, goods receive note, and cash purchase if some orders were made at earlier time. Selling of this item is allowable. Total balance quantity will display the total balance quantity of this item. Lead time is the estimated time of delivery by supplier once the PO is placed. Tax type is for you to assign tax type of this item. Tax type is maintained at general maintenance. Tax type maintenance only when GST is enabled at Tools, Options, under General Page, Goods and Service Tax, only when this is activated. Duty rate is the rate of custom duty for this item. You may refer to Module Lending Cost, has promoter to be used with the auto count point of sale. Stock control means this is a stock control or physical item. If this is unchecked, it will mean that this is a service item which is not to appear in stock card reports. Costing method. Select the costing method of this item. The default costing method is set at Tools, Options, Stock, Stock Costing, Default Costing Method. This system supports different costing methods for different items. Choices are fixed cost, means the value of standard cost will be deferred. Most recently, means the last purchase cost will be deferred. LIFO means the purchase cost in sequence of last in first out will be deferred. FIFO means the purchase cost in sequence of first in first out will be deferred and weighted average means average cost will be updated with each purchase. Look at the details tab under UOM details, standard selling price, keen applies. This price will be adopted in billing document if no other pricing policy is enforced. And for minimum, maximum, selling price and purchase price, negative one means no control. You may key in a price and set the control at general maintenance, user maintenance, access right, system, behavior. There are several items to control the access right of pricing. You may also enable the color indication for pricing at tools, options, invoicing, customize invoicing, and check the checkboxes of color indication. Look at document control. For minimum selling price, there is an option to use average up to date cost to check for minimum sales price. Standard cost is a user input reference cost. This value can be updated through purchase invoice, cash purchase, and stock update cost. Real cost is a system generated cost and can be updated also through purchase invoice, cash invoice, and stock update cost. 
The setting for the updating these two codes is at Tools, Options, Invoicing, Document Control, Update Item Cost option. You may select Do not update, Update Item Cost from Purchase Invoice or Cash Purchase, or Update Real Cost from Purchase Invoice and Cash Purchase. Up to date cost is the latest cost value according to costing method and this is auto generated by the system. If the costing method is FIFO, the up to date cost will be shown in costing sequence including when it was free or when the cost is equal to zero. Stock level minimum quantity is the minimum quantity to be kept in the store. The order level is the stock level when replenishment is needed. This value should be higher than minimum quantity. Normal level, the stock level that is considered healthy. This value should be higher than the order level. Maximum quantity is the maximum quantity that should be kept in the store. This value should be higher than normal level. Balance quantity is the current stock level. This value is auto updated. And a reorder quantity is the quantity needed to be purchased when stock level hits the reorder level. Click on Others tab. Shelf is for you to key in the number or the name of the shelf where this item is stored. Barcode, you can scan the item barcode here if any. Redeem bonus point is used in bonus point module. Measurement is used in landing cost module. Click on the Replacement item tab. You may click on plus sign to add a replacement item and specify the replacement degree. During sales transaction, when there is insufficient on-hand quantity, a message will be prompted to ask if you would like to use item replacement. And if you select yes, the list of replacement items will be displayed for selection. Another usage of replacement items is during transaction at detail section, if you click on show instant info and then click on item replacement, a list of replacement items will be displayed and you may double click on one of them to replace the highlighted item at detail section. Click on the tab of alternative item code. You may click on plus sign to add or scan the alternative item code if this item has more than one item code, including the barcodes. Click on Image tab and you can click on Load Image to define the linking path of the image file. Click on Further Description and you may key in the descriptive text. The text will be captured and can be amended during transaction. External link. Click on plus sign. You can add a link to any file that contains additional information so that it can be retrieved easily. The Note tab is for you to key in plain text for reference purpose. To maintain the stock item opening balance, go to Stock, More Stock Maintenance, Item Opening Balance Maintenance. Define the filter options or just tick the default setting. No filter means to select all. Click on Apply Filter. Yes, the items that already have opening balances will be listed. Click on Auto Generate Opening Balance by Filter Criteria to show all items. Key in the opening quantity and unit cost for respective items. For those stock items with 5-4 costing method, highlight the item and click on the copy button. A new copy row is being inserted with the sequence number 1. Click on copy button again. You have sequence number 2. The sequence number shows the priority in 5-4. You may repeat the step of copy row until you have sufficient rows. Then key in or modify the opening quantity and unit cost respectively. To delete a highlighted row, just click on the delete button. Then click on save. Okay, that's all for stock item maintenance. Thank you.